Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm just walking towards Wan Chai from North Point and on the way I found this beautiful open space. Have a look. In the middle of Hong Kong, can you believe this? So as you can see, a lot of thought has been put into the design of this area. They've used white stones and a little bit of black stones and they've kind of created an open space. And the thing is that there is a drive in Hong Kong towards building and promoting more open space areas for leisurely activity and outdoor pursuits, I guess. Um, this is just one of those uh, places. And as you can see, there are many skyscrapers here. It's a massive open space. And it's, uh, it's quite surprising to see a lot of uh, white stones out in the middle the middle of a very open space you know as you know Hong Kong uh, really uh, you know prioritizes space and there is a premium price on it so it's quite refreshing to see so much open space in such a in such a uh, congested area surrounded by huge buildings have a look at these skyscrapers so let's have a closer look at this building uh, I think I've been here before but I'm not too sure because some of the sites do look different uh, ooh, what's this? I'm just gonna try walking on some of these stones. Yeah, it's quite an interesting experience. <laughs> I never tried this kind of. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm sure if I have, if I, if I go barefoot and then walk on these, my feet will get a natural massage. Oh, this is interesting. Check this out. They are revolving. Look at that. They somehow, they potted these trees into, into the ground that rotates. <laughs> Beautiful trees though. So there is a kind of a merger between modern and nature. Modern structures and nature. And there is a really big building uh, right next to it as well. So that's quite a contrast, you know. There's some nice little birds here as well. Look at this guy. He's like, hmm, what's he doing here? Go on, go on, get away from me. <laughs> and he just casually hops away. So have a look at this area as well. There's this massive triangle shaped screen. And deck chairs. People are just relaxing here and enjoying uh, a nice hot day, I guess. So let's have a look at the building. So they've retained a lot of the classical features of this building, and it is an old building. Uh, it's basically a historic building, a class two historic building. And let me just explain to you uh, what it says here on this board over here. So regarding this building, the building was opened in 1908 originally as the clubhouse of the Royal Hong Kong Yacht Club. Following land reclamation work in North Point in the 1930s, the Yacht Club decided to build a new clubhouse on Kellett Island in 1938, relocating there in 1939. The premises were taken over by the Hong Kong government, which used, which used them as staff quarters and a storehouse. In 2010, the government decided to revitalize the building as an exhibition and education center for the visual arts. The center opened to the public in its new incarnation as an art space, OI, or oil, I think, in May 2013. Oh, that's cool. So that explains the, the, the awesomeness of this place. It's actually an arts exhibition site. And what I'll do is I'll walk uh, outside the para perimeter a little bit, just so you can have an idea of what uh, the structure of this building looks like. They renovated the building, but they made sure that they um, retained many of the historical archways and features. Uh, this building basically, as I said uh, or mentioned earlier, this building was built in 1908 as the headquarters for the Royal Yacht Club on Electric Street. And basically, they really, really paid a lot of attention to the detail of the structure back then. You know, everything was grand, right? not the same as it is now you can see that 
the architecture has been maintained again. Nice brick laden structure. Quite a historic site as well. On the corner of Oil and Electric Street. Love the names. So let's let's get head in. Let's uh, let's see what they have uh, what they have preserved actually. So as I said, a lot of greenery has been preserved. Oh, it's a red brick building. Quite an, a beautiful design as well. Wow. This is in the middle of the North Point Quarry Bay area. And there's some families here as well, enjoying this lovely little shaded place. It's nice to have trees here. Uh, you know, under the shade, you do uh, feel less heat, of course. The temperature is drastically less. Yeah, and they have converted these, uh, these rooms uh, for, for art purposes. And there is a nice little sitting area here. There are wash basins here as well. But just have a look at the building structure. They really, really made sure that they retained this structure. And it's such a contrast. You can see that there are newer buildings as well in the vicinity, large skyscraper-esque buildings. And look at the design of these doors as well. You know, these are old style doors. So they've maintained, they've put a lot of effort into maintaining uh, the sanctity of this building to some degree. Look at this massive tree right here. Beautiful. building is no doubt a historical site of grave importance and I hope you guys enjoyed it and I really enjoyed being in this area and hopefully uh, I sh will come back with the family to chill out here for a while. Alright, peace out. <laughs>